Hello everyone. Thanks for watching the videos and thanks for subscribing to my channel. Today we will learn how to add three fractions, how to multiply three fractions, how to subtract three fractions, how to divide three fractions. So let's start with the addition of three fractions. For example, 3 by 8 plus 2 by 5 plus 1 by 4. So in these fractions, you can see the denominators are different. To add the fractions, to subtract the fractions, we have to make the denominator same. And for that, we need to find out what is the LCM, which is lowest common multiple of the denominator. So LCM of 4, 5, 8 is equals to. Now we need to find out the LCM by using the prime factorization method, which I already explained you in the previous video. So 2, 2 is 4, then 5, 2, 4 is 8. 2 1s are 2, then 5, 2 2s are 4, then again we'll do 2, 1, 5, and 1, then we'll divide it with 5, then we'll write on 1 and 1 and 1. So at the end we are getting 1, so that means the LCM is 2 into 2 into 2 into 5. We have to write down these numbers here, so it will be equals to 40. So the LCM for this is equals to 40. So we'll write down the fraction again, 3 by 8, plus 2 by 5, plus 1 by 4. Now we have to make the denominator equals to 40. So we have to times 8 with 5. Because when we times 8 with 5, we'll get 8 5s are 40. Same number we need to multiply with the numerator. 5 needs to times with 8 so that we can get denominator equals to 40. Same number we will times here. Then 4 times with 10 will give us 40. Same number we will multiply over here. So we will get new fractions here, 15 over 40 plus 16 over 40 plus 10 over 40. Now, since the denominators are same, we have to write down the denominator only once and we'll write down 15 plus 16 plus 10, which is equals to 41 over 40. So here we can see that 41 is the odd number, 40 is the even number. So we cannot simplify it more. So the answer will be 41 over 40. Similarly, if we will take another set of example where I will take now four fractions in place of three fractions and we'll add it. So we have to follow the same method. The question is 2 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 5 by 6 plus 1 by 2. So the first step is we have to find out the LCM of 2, 3, 4 and 6. By using the prime factorization method again, we'll divide it with 2. 2 ones are 3, we'll write down 2 twos are 4, 2 threes are 6. Then again, we divide with 2, we'll write down 3, 1, 3. Then we divide it with 3, 1, 1, 1, and 1. So the LCM will be equals to 2 into 2 into 3, which is equals to 12. Now, we have to make all the denominators equals to 12. So we need to times every denominator with some number. So we'll see which numbers we need to write down. So 3 into 4 is 12. Here we'll write down the same number. 4 into 3 is 12. We'll write down here the same number. 6 into 2 is 12. We'll write down the same number. 2 into 6 is 12. We'll write down the same number. So finally, we'll get it. 8 over 12 plus 3 over 12 plus 10 over 12 plus 6 over 12. Now, since the denominator is same, we have to write down the denominator only once. We we'll write on here 12. Now we will add the numerators. So when we will add the numerators, we'll get it equals to 27 over 12. Now 27 and 12, we can simplify it with number 3. We divided this with 3. We divided this with 3. We will get 9 over 4. So the answer is 9 over 4. Now let's take some example of the subtraction also, where we have three fractions, 5 over 6 minus 1 over 2, minus 1 over 3. Now in this, again, we have to do the same. Since the denominators are different, we have to find out what is the LCM equals to. So the LCM of 2, 3, and 6 will be equals to. We'll do the prime factorization. 2, 1s are 2. Then we'll write on 3, then 3. Then again, we divide it with 3, 1, 1, and 1. So the LCM is 2 into 3, which is equals to 6. Now we'll write on here 5 over 6, minus 1 over 2, minus 1 over 3. Now this is already 6. We times it with 1. This is 2. If we will multiply it with 3, we'll get equals to 6. We have to times this also with 3. Then we have to times 3 with 2 so that we can get 6. And numerator, we need to multiply with 2. So we'll get here 5 over 6 minus 3 over 6 minus 2 over 6. So we'll write on here 5 
minus 3 minus 2 the numerators and denominator we write on only once so 5 minus 3 is 2 we write on 2 then minus 2 over 6 now it is 2 minus 2 which is equals to 0 over 6 and that is equals to 0 so the answer for this question is equals to 0 this is how we can subtract now suppose this is the question so here first we need to find out what is the LCM of 5 10 and 20 and we'll do prime factorization again 2 5 5 and 10 then we can divide it again with 2 we'll get here 5 then we can divide it with 5 and we'll get here 1 so the LCM is equals to 2 into 2 into 5 which is equals to 20 now We'll make all the denominators equals to 20. So first we write down the fractions and then we multiply. So 10 into 2 will give me 20. I have to multiply numerator with 2. 5 into 4 will give me 20. I have to multiply numerator with 4. 20 multiplied by 1 will give me 20. I have to multiply it with 1. If you don't want to follow this step, you can leave it like 20 only. So we'll get here 16 over 20 minus 8 over 20 minus 1 over 20. So we'll write down here divided by 20 denominator only once 16 minus 8 minus 1. 16 minus 8 is equals to 8 minus 1 over 20. So 8 minus 1 is 7 over 20. So the answer is 7 over 20. Similarly we can multiply three different fractions also. So let's learn how to multiply the fractions. 3 over 5 into 4 over 9 into 15 over 24. To multiply 3 fractions or multiply 2 fractions or multiply more than 3 fractions, we have 3 different methods. So let's learn the first method here. So the first method is we have to multiply numerators with numerators and denominators with denominators. So let's do it. 3 into 4, we'll write down like that. 3 into 4 into 15 divided by 5 into 9 into 24. So if I will multiply here, 3 into 4, 12. 12 into 15 will give me 180. Similarly, if I'll do 5 into 9, 45. 45 into 24 will give me 1080. Then I have to simplify this. So I can simplify this with 10. I'll get here 18 over 108. I can simplify it with 9. I will get here 2 over 12. I can simplify it again. I'll get here 1 over 6. So this is the first method where you have to first multiply numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator, and then whatever the answer you are getting, you have to simplify it. Now let's understand the second method. Now, second method is whatever the numbers are given to you in the fractions, you have to write all the numbers in their prime factorized form. That means 3 over 5, it is already a prime number, 3 and 5. Then 4 over 9, 4 over 9 can be written as, 4 can be written as 2 into 2, 9 can be written as 3 into 3. So, we'll write down 2 into 2, then we will write down here 3 into 3. Similarly, if I have to write down 15, so if I have to make the prime factors, it would be 3 into 5. I write down here 3 into 5. For 24, if I have to make the prime factors, I can write it as 12. Then again, we can do it 6. Then again, we can do it 3 and 1. So 24 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Now we have to cancel numerator with denominator. This is numerator cancel with denominator 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 so basically when we are going to cancel it we can write down one if you don't want to write down one it is okay but the cancelled number means one over what is left here two into three so we'll get here 1 over 6. So we are getting the same answer. So this is the second method. Now let's learn the third method to multiply the fractions. In the third method, we will divide or we will simplify numerator and denominator with 
common numbers like 3 and 9. We can simplify them with 3. So if I'll divide this 3 with 3, if I'll divide this 9 with 3, what I'll get? I'll get a 3 and I'll get a 1. So it is not needed. You will write on this 3 here divided by 3. It is not needed. You can do it in your mind. 3 divided by 3, what will give you 1? 9 divided by 3 will give you what? 3. Similarly, 4 and 24, they comes in the table of 4. So if I divide 4 with 4, I'll get 1. If I divide 24 with 4, I'll get 6. Similarly, if I'll do here, 5 and 15, 5 divided by 5 will give me 1. 15 divided by 5 will give me 3. Now we have 3 and 3. 3 divided by 3 will give me 1. And this also will give me 1. So what is left in the numerator place? 1 is left. In the denominator place, 6 is left. So we are getting 1 over 6. So I have already told you three different methods. Whatever the method you find that it is easier for you to do, just go with that method and do the calculation very easily. Let's take another example to understand better all the three methods, how to multiply three different fractions. 12 by 20 into 2 by 9 into 6 by 14. So let's understand how to multiply it with the first method. So first method, I already told you that we have to multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator. So we will write on 12 into 2 into 6 over 20 into 9 into 14. So if I will multiply 12 with 2, I'll get 24. 24 into 6, I'll get here 144. We'll write down here 144. Similarly, we'll multiply 20 into 9. It is equals to 180. And 180 into 14, we have to do. So 180 into 14 will be equals to 2520. Now we will simplify it. If I have to simplify it, I'll simplify it with number 4 first. I'll get here 36 over 630. Now I can simplify it with 9. I'll get here 4 over 70. Then I can simplify it with 2. I'll get here 2 over 35. So this is the first method. Now let's understand the second method. In the second method, I said that you have to write down for all the numbers, they are prime factors. So 12 can be written as 2, 2, then 3. So I'll write down 2 into 2 into 3 for number 12. Then 20, 2, 10, 2, 5, then 5, 1. So I'll get here for 20, 2 into 2 into 5. Now 2 can be written as 2. 9 can be written as 3 into 3. Now 6 can be written as 2 into 3. And 14 can be written as 2 into 7. So 2 numerator will cancel with denominator. Numerator we can cancel with denominator. We have to cancel the same number. Okay. So numerator we can cancel with denominator. Numerator with denominator numerator with denominator. So finally, what is left? In the numerator place, 2 is left. In the denominator place, 5 into 7 is left. So the answer is 2 over 35. So we are getting the same answer, whatever the way you want to continue. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Then 2 divided by 2 is 1. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we'll get here 2 in the numerator place. And in the denominator place, we'll get 5 into 7. So the answer is 2 over 35. So you can see that whatever the method you are following, you are getting the same answer, which is 2 over 35. This is how we can multiply 3 or more than three fractions. And you can try this for two fractions as well. Now let's understand how to divide three different fractions. Twelve by seven divided by three by two divided by 10 by 9. So we already know if we have to divide the fractions, we have to change this division sign to multiplication. And the next number, which is after the division, 
we will switch the numbers. We will write the reciprocal. Earlier it was 3 by 2, now it's 2 by 3. Similarly, we'll follow the same for this. Now we have return in place of division multiplication. So this can be written as 9 over 10. Now you can follow any method here, either first method, second method, or third method. I'm just following the third method. So 3 ones are 3, 3 fours are 12. Then 2 ones are 2, 2 fives are 10. I cannot simplify it more. So I write on here 4 into 9 and 7 into 5. So I'll get here 36 over 20. Five. So that is the answer. Now let's take another example. 3 by 4 divided by 9 by 8 divided by 18 by 10. So we'll write down here 3 by 4 into 8 by 9, the reciprocal into 10 by 18. Now let's do this question with the first method, multiply the numerator with numerator. So 3 into 8 into 10 will write. 4 into 9 into 18 we will write, which is equals to, if I will multiply these numbers, I will get 240. If I will multiply these numbers, I will get 648. Now, I can simplify this number with 8. I will get here 30 and here I will get 81. Now, if I will divide it with 3, I will get equals to 10 over 20. Seven. You can do it with the second method also, the prime factorization method. So the prime factor of 3 is 3. 4 can be written as 2 into 2. 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2. 9 can be written as 3 into 3. 10 can be written as 2 into 5. 18 can be written as 2 into 3 into 3. Now we will cancel numerator with denominator, numerator with denominator, numerator with denominator, numerator with denominator and we'll get our answer as is equals to 2 into 5 over 3 into 3 into 3 which is equals to 10 over 27. So we are getting the same answer. So this is how we can add, subtract, multiply and divide more than two fractions.